ಯಶೋದನಂದನ ಬ್ರಜ ಜನ ರಂಜನ ಯಮುನ ತಿರವನ ಚರಿ ಯಮುನ ತಿರವನ ಚರಿ ಶರದ ಮಾಧವ ಕುಂಜ ಬಿಹಾರಿ ಕುಬಿಯನ ವಲ್ಲಭ ಗಿರಿ ವರ ಧರಿ ಯಶೋದ ನಂದನ ವ್ರಜ ಜನ ರಂಜನ ಯಮುನ ತಿರವನ ಚರಿ ಯಮುನ ತಿರವನ ಚರಿ ಹರೆ ಕೃಷ್ಣ ಹರೆ ಕೃಷ್ಣ ಕೃಷ್ಣ ಹರೆ 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 ರಾಮ ಹರೆ ರಾಮ 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 ಹರೆ 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 ಕೃಷ್ಣ ಹರೆ ಕೃಷ್ಣ 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 ಹರೆ 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 ರಾಮ ಹರೆ ರಾಮ 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 ಹರೆ 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 ಕೃಷ್ಣ ಹರೆ ಕೃಷ್ಣ 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 ಹರೆ 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 ರಾಮ ಹರೆ ರಾಮ 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 ಹರೆ 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 ಕೃಷ್ಣ ಹರೆ ಕೃಷ್ಣ 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 ಹರೆ 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 ರಾಮ ಹರೆ ರಾಮ 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 ಹರೆ 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 ಕೃಷ್ಣ ಹರೆ ಕೃಷ್ಣ 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 ಹರೆ 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 ರಾಮ ಹರೆ ರಾಮ 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 ಹರೆ ಹರೆ ಜಯ ಜಯ ಪ್ರಭು ಪಾ ಪ್ರಭು ಪಾ ಪ್ರಭು ಪಾ ಜಯ ಜಯ ಪ್ರಭು ಪಾ ಜಯ ಜಯ ಗುರುದೇ ಗುರುದೇ ಗುರುದೇವ ಜಯ ಜಯ ಗುರುದೇವ ಮಿತ್ರೋ ಹರಿ ಗೋ ಹರಿ ಗೋ ಹರಿ ಗೋ ಮಿತ್ರ ಗೋರ ಹರಿ ಗೋ ಹರಿನಾಮ ಸಂಕೀರ್ತನ ಕೀ ಜಯ ಹರಿ ಕೃಷ್ಣ ಮಹಾಮಂತ್ರ ಕೀ ಜಯ ಜಗದ್ ಗುರು ಶ್ಲೋಕರೂಪಾ ಜಿ ಕೀ ಜಯ ಗ್ರಂಥ ರಾಯ ಶ್ರೀಮದ್ ಭಾಗವತ್ ಮಹಾಪುರಾಣ ಕೀ ಜಯ ನಿತಾಯ ಗೌರ ಶಿವಾನಂದೇ ಹರಿ ಹರಿ ಬೋ ಹರೆ ಕೃಷ್ಣ ಟು ಆಲ್ ದ ಡಿಟೀಸ್ ಪ್ಲೀಸ್ ಎಕ್ಸೆಪ್ಟ್ ಮೈ ಹಂಬಲ್ ಒಬೀಸನ್ಸಸ್ ಒನ್ ಸೆಕೆಂಡ್ ಅಂಡ್ ಥ್ಯಾಂಕ್ ಯು ಹಿಸ್ ಗ್ರೇಸ್ ಸುಬಲ್ ಪ್ರಭು ಜಿ ಫಾರ್ ಗಿವಿಂಗ್ ಮೀ ದಿಸ್ ವಂಡರ್ಫುಲ್ ಅಪರ್ಚುನಿಟಿ ಟು not only speak about shrimad bhagavatam but to also purify my own self and relish this nectar of shrimad bhagavatam so before i begin i would like to seek blessings from each one present here and i extend my deepest gratitude to all of you for giving me this opportunity to serve shrimad bhagavatam in some way or other and by just speaking about shrimad bhagavatam not only the person who is speaking gets purified but the listeners who are hearing to this beautiful narration of the lord and the pure devotees they also get purified not only that the person who inquires or who asks questions they also get purified so it's been a wonderful verse in shrimad bhagavatam in the 10th canto itself where the uh, shukdev goswami is telling that shrimad bhagavatam nectarian flow is is like the flow of river ganges so as the ganges purifies the three worlds similarly the shrimad bhagavatam also purifies the three people one is the speaker the other one is the listener and the third one is the person who is raising the questions regarding to this wonderful narration of the lord and his pure devotees which is so glorious that anybody who hears they get purified ಯಶ್ಯಾಂವೈಶೂಯಮಾಣಾನಂ ಕೃಷ್ಣೆ ಪರಂ ಪುರುಷೆ ಭಕ್ತಿರುತ್ಪಾದ್ಯತೆ ಪುಂಸಾಂ ಶೋಕ ಮೋಹ ಭಯಪಃ ವಿ ಮಸ್ಟ್ ಹವ್ ರೇಡ್ ದಿಸ್ ವಂಡರ್ಫುಲ್ ವರ್ಸ್ ಫ್ರಮ್ ಶ್ರೀಮದ್ ಭಗವತಂ ಫಸ್ಟ್ ಕ್ಯಾಂಟ್ ವೇರ್ ಸುತ್ತ ಗೋಸ್ವಾಮಿ ಬಿಟ್ವೀನ್ ದ ಕನ್ವರ್ಸೇಷನ್ ಆಫ್ ಸೌನಕ್ ಅದಿ ಋಷಿ ಇಟ್ ಟೆಲ್ ದಿಸ್ ಬ್ಯೂಟಿಫುಲ್ ವರ್ಸ್ ಯಶ್ಯಾಂ ವೈ ಶೂಯ ಮಾಣಾನಂ ಇಫ್ ಅ ಪರ್ಸನ್ ಸಮ್ ಹೌ ಅವರ್ ಅದರ್ ಕಿಯರ್ಸ್ ದ ನರೇಷನ್ಸ್ ಆಫ್ ದಿಸ್ ಬ್ಯೂಟಿಫುಲ್ fast times of the lord and his pure devotee yasya mai shruya mananam with the with the pots of the uh, with the help of the pots of the ears if anybody drinks this nectar of shrimad bhagavatam with the help of this ears which which are like the pots as we drink the water with the help of a glass similarly we hear the shrimad bhagavatam with the help of these ear pots and we take this nectar of shrimad bhagavatam through the ears and and that enters into our hearts and purifies 
So Yasyam Vai Shruya Mana Nam Krishna Param Purush. Who is the Param Purush? The Swayam Bhagwan Krishna. Yasyam Vai Shruya Mana. Yasyam Vai Shruya Mana Nam Krishna Param So the Krishna is Swayam Purush. Yasyam Vai Shruya Mana Nam Krishna Param Purush. Bhaktir Utpadyate Pumsam Shoka Mohabhayapa. That these narrations are so beautiful that it helps us to sprout the seed of the devotional service, the Bhakti Kripper, Bhakti Lata Beach. Bhaktir Utpadyate Pumsam Shoka Mohabhayapa. And once the seed of devotional service sprouts in the heart of a listener, so what happens? Yasyam Vaishruya Mananam Krishna Param Purushe. Bhakti Rutpadyate Pumsam Shokha Moha Bhayapa. And the three things it, it vanquishes, it devastates. Shokha, the lamentation of the past. Oh, this happened in the in my past. That's why I have to suffer now. So this is the lamentation of the past. It gets vanquished. Not only that, Shokha, Moha, and the present, the present is Moha, the illusion. Oh, now. Since in the past I got so suffering, so in the present I will do that and I will I will make some my, my own plans and I will achieve this. So this kind of illusions or moha, uh, which is not actually factual, the person has this is also the Srimad Bhagavatam, the hearing of Srimad Bhagavatam vanishes. And at last, but not the least, Bhaya Shoka Moha and Bhaya Faha. The fear of the future, what will happen to me in, in the future? Since my, my past was so uh, so bewildering and uh, so uh, hopeless, how can I have the hope for the future? So that bhai, that fear also, it vanquishes the Srimad Bhagavatam. So the hearing of Srimad Bhagavatam is so purifying that even the Lord Chaitanya Mahaprabhu Yesterday was the appearance day of Gadadhar Pandit, if I'm not wrong. So, Parampuja Guru Maharaj, Loknath Goswami Maharaj was narrating this beautiful pastimes of Lord Chaitanya and Lord Nityananda. So, Lord Chaitanya, who is Krishna himself, he used to walk in, he used to walk so much to, and he would go to uh, the temple of Jagannath Puri, the Tota Gopinath, where Lord Gadadhar used to worship the Tota Gopinath deities. And there, Lord Gadadhar, who is none other than Srimati Radha, Radharani, would narrate the beautiful pastimes of Srimad Bhagavatam and would cry in ecstasy. And Chaitanya Mahaprabhu would sit at the lotus feet of Sri Gadadhar Pandit and used to hear these beautiful narrations of Srimad Bhagavatam. Not only that, Chaitanya Mahaprabhu was so fond of hearing the pastimes of the Lord and his pure devotees from Srimad Bhagavatam, especially the pastimes of Prahlad Charitra. Lord Chaitanya Mahaprabhu used to hear the pastimes of Lord uh, Prahlad Maharaj and uh, Dhruva Maharaj continuously about 100 times, 108 times. And just by hearing, he would merge or he would enter into the ocean of transcendental bliss. And Gadadhar Pandit used to cry. And just by crying, crying and crying and narrating the pastimes of Srimad Bhagavatam, they have churned the nectar of Srimad Bhagavatam. So this is nothing but the churning of Srimad Bhagavatam. So that's why when we come along and hear and read this wonderful pastimes of Srimad Bhagavatam, it not only purifies us, but also it gives us the, it takes us into the ocean of transcendental bliss. Anandam buddhi vardhanam patipradam punam ritaswadhanam sarvatma stapanam param vijayate Sri Krishna Sankirtanam. So this is the Sankirtan Yajya. We don't read Srimad Bhagavatam alone, but we engage other devotees, the like-minded people. And we take up this Yajya. Yajya is not only, you know, doing, giving some offering or oblations or ahuti in the sacrificial but yajna is also to come along and glorify the Lord. That is the best yajna, which is recommended for the age of Kali, the Sankirtan yajna. And this yajna is so purifying that padam padam vipadam natesham. In this ocean of suffering, samaj, that where is the danger at every step, the Krishna consciousness or the narrations and the leelas of the Lord and his pure devotees are so purifying that it takes us to 
out of the world it takes us out of the world from this ocean of material missiles because this kaliyuga is the age of coral and and trouble right so if we go into the ocean what we will get obviously the water so similarly in this in this kaliyuga it is like the sagar of dosha but it is like ocean of faults okay but there is only one hope that just by chanting the holy names of the lord or just by hearing of the lord or by uh, going through the uh, processes of nine devotional service ek krishna naam kahe kare sarva pap shay nav vidhi bhakti purna naam hote hoy just by taking up to the chanting of the holy names of the lord ek krishna naam kahe sarva pap shay that just by by taking up the process of chanting the holy names of the lord or chanting the glories of the lord ek krishna naam kare sarva pap shay it devastates all the uh, the sins of the persons and a now with the bhakti purna naam hote hoy and just by chanting the holy names all the nine limbs of devotional service will be will be properly followed this is the verdict of shri chaitanya charitamrita so this is the glory of shrimad bhagavatam and uh, glory of the devotees and the lord who always engage themselves and in constantly tesham satat yukta naam yajatam priti purvakam dadami buddhi yogam tam yenam upayantite not only that mak chitta madgata prana bodhayanta parasparam kathayanta samam nitya tushyanti cha ramanti cha that my devotee is not only remain satisfied by discussing this uh, narrations paraspar among among themselves but uh, but they also end up their sufferings by enter and by entering into the ocean of transcendental bliss and ramanam they always relish so this is the actual ramanam generally we see people in this world they always look for some happiness ananda but the devotees they don't la- they don't hanker for such tatha uh, kathit or so called uh, ananda or happiness but the devotees go after that param ananda which they get from the by performing the devotional service of the lord that's why we see only nine devotees have joined so this is this is the rarity so yajanti su medas only the intelligent people of this age of kaliyuga will take up to the process of krishna consciousness of course other devotees may have engaged in some other services and all but the the conclusion behind this is that very few very few take up this process of krishna consciousness bahunam janmanam ante gyanavan mam prapadyate vasudevam sarva viti sam atma sutra dulok and these devotees are very rare and when we find the association of such devotees we should engage ourselves in the in glorifying the lord and serving the devotees of the lord and just by serving the lord and the pure devotees our hearts becomes purified and it becomes a resting place of the lord and then the lord sits on the lotus flower of our heart and the lord gives us the direction as we discuss tesham satata yuktanam bhajatam priti purvakam so those who serve the lord and the pure devotees the lord in the swarup of parmatma gives them direction how this devotee should come to me so this is the shrimad bhagavatam and so we are reading today from the very interesting topic of shrimad bhagavatam the first canto which is also known as the lotus feet of the lord so shrimad bhagavatam is none other than the vangma swarup of the lord and the all the 12 cantos are been uh, given uh, are been mentioned are compared to the uh, lotus form of the lord so the first two cantos which we are reading now the first canto is the is none other than we are hearing from the lotus feet of the lord so as we go to the temple and we take the darshan of the lord from his lotus feet towards his lotus mouth so similarly shila prabhupad and the, our acharyas have have given us this path so that we can start from the lotus feet of the lord and then we can go or rise up to uh, the uh, lotus form uh, the lotus face of the lord which is uh, which is also the past times of lord krishna in vrindavan dwarka and mathura lila so today we are reading from very nice chapter the chapter 14 of first canto shrimad bhagavatam the disappearance of lord krishna so this chapter uh, sounds little bewildering 
good now what makes me say bewildering is that we know the appearance of the lord but uh, how can we understand the disappearance of the lord of lord krishna so the disappearance of lord krishna many times uh, the people in general uh, they say you know um, like uh, i was hearing uh, to one maharaj i guess bhakti vikas swami maharaj so once he was telling uh, that in prabhasa kshetra where lord krishna you know after winding up his past times he disappeared from that so somebody have have you know kept one board there now what was that board the board was like uh, that krishna died here so the maharaj said how foolish these rascals are or this how foolish these people are how agyani they are they, they also don't know what they are speaking or what they are telling lord krishna the one who is you know about the three modes of material nature or he is having this janma karma chame divyam that his body form activities name all are transcendental how can he die as the sun rises in the morning and sets in the evening so we don't say oh surya to mar gaya that sun died no we say the sun appeared and then set so the now since the so now since here it is morning so it doesn't mean that in in america uh, this uh, sun is died right there is darkness but or they are not able to see why they are not able to see because th- they don't have the uh, power to to see the sun but later after after some time the sun would also appear there so the sun is always coming and going so similarly the lord and his pure devotees just come and enlighten us with the rays of sunshine or the with the rays of this shrimad bhagavatam or the leelas and pastimes which is full of teachings it is not that lord does anything just for playful acts but the lord always gives teachings from each one of his leelas so similarly from this chapter also which we are reading today chapter 14 so this is also a beautiful conversation which is you know going on between uh, suta goswami and the rishis of namisharan headed by sonakadi rishis so we are reading from this 14th verse so i will just display my screen for everybody's ease hari krishna prabhu uh, 17th verse okay one second sorry yes chapter 14 verse number 17 Uh, coincidentally prabhu all the verses today don't have a purport the i was also going through just now and i realized it okay bro no issues bro we'll we'll try to uh, speak something what prabhupad has uh, spoken some other lectures about this okay uh, everybody can see my screen yes prabhu yes yes prabhu ji prabhu ji we can see okay okay bro so i will just recite the verse verse number 17 suryam hata prabham pashya graha mardam mitho divi sasan kulair bhuta ganair jwalite eva rodasi translation by shila prabhupad jay shila prabhupad the rays of the sun are declining and the stars appear to be fighting among themselves confused living entities appear to be blazed and weeping so this describes the disappearance of the lord so as the lord disappeared by winding up his beautiful past times in mathura dwarka and vrindavan the lord now krishneswa dhamo pagate dharma gyana dibhi sah so krishna so the lord krishna disappeared from this world as the sun sets so similarly the lord krishna as he disappeared krishneswa dhamo pagate dharma gyana dibhi sah so the dharma the religion the principles of religion the knowledge the transcendental knowledge all went with the lord all accompanied the lord so when the lord disappeared the rays of the sun seemed very declining and the stars appeared to be fighting amongst themselves so as we hear from the past times of lord's appearance in vrindavan in mathura when the lord appeared what was the you know very beautiful uh, seasons uh, all seasons merged together to bloom in very nice uh, uh, flowers 
and trees were full of fruits and flowers and everything was so auspicious that the abhijit nakshatra in the abhijit nakshatra or abhijit constellation the lord appeared and in the in the night or in the midnight lord appeared so this uh, so everybody thought to give something to the lord so similarly the clouds thought what gift we can give to the lord so the clouds thought we will give our you know our water to the lord and so uh, they were slowly and steadily it was raining there in the in mathura and as it was raining the clouds thought you know in future since we are ghansham the lord or our beauty will be compared to the lord or the lord's beauty will other way the, the lord's beauty will be compared to ours and in that way the lord we will be will be glorified and we will also glorify we will be also be glorified with the lord so this was the situation at the appearance but at the disappearance we see that the sun are the rays of the sun were declining and the stars were fighting amongst themselves because the lord disappeared so shila propat gives a very nice example in this relation Uh, when shila propat was uh, giving lectures uh, on this shiksha ashtakam so shila propat uh, gave one example beautiful ex- example which will help us to relate this shila propat said that when a rich man who is having everything he is not in uh, search of anything he is having everything in full but when the rich man Uh, loses or when the rich man's son dies in front of his eyes so what happens to the rich man the rich man becomes devastated or he loses everything although he has everything but since he has lost his son so he loses everything similarly when the lord leaves this world so then there is no reason to live so for the rich man there is no reason to live now because he has his son is died now so similarly for the living entities also who are in so much love to the lord they were ablaze and weeping because the lord is the only well wisher of the devotees suridam sarva bhutanam gyatva mam shantim rachati so as when one understands that the lord is my only well wisher then we can have that peace of mind otherwise we will be always anxious to acquire this to acquire that so this was the state of the living entities they were ablaze they were weeping in the fire of separation from the lord next verse verse number 18 nadyo nadasya kushubhita saram shicha manam sicha na jwalati agnir ajena kalo ayam kim vidhasyati translation by shila prabhupad anybody would like to read Approach. Rivers, tributaries, ponds, reservoirs, and the mind are all perturbed. Water no longer ignites. What is this extraordinary time? What is going to happen? So the river, the tributaries, ponds, reservoirs, and the minds are all perturbed. पर्सन इज इक्विप्ड और फुल ऑफ गुड थॉट and if some bad thoughts or provoking thoughts enters his mind he is not shaken he becomes sthir sa shanti mapnoti na kama so that he becomes uh, he is not caught up in such situation so similarly that person is known as the person of steady intelligence so this is the definition of the person of steady intelligence but here we see the reverse tributary pro- the minds are all caught up so when we have good association of like minded devotees and people then what happens our mind becomes cool and calm but as soon as we enter rajagun and we enter or we just go out of this association then we see that our minds also gets flickered 
that's why we we say mandir why we say the temple as mandir because in the mandir we dhir our mind or we control our mind and engage our senses in the service of the lord so that's why the, the mind and all were put up butter no longer ignites fire the butter which was uh, which is used as an ingredient to ignite the fire that was no longer igniting the fire what is this exodus in time what is going to happen so this is what it is happening now and uh, in this way uh, this this narration is going between them that what is this extraordinary time what is going to happen so this kind of omens or inauspicious signs were indicating that lord sri krishna is certainly disappeared and this is the, uh, a beautiful narration which is happening between uh, shila yudhishthir maharaj and his brother bhimsen because the arjuna he went to dwarka and he uh, couldn't return and uh, for so long so that's why yudhishthir maharaj was so anxious and in this way he was getting this bad omens about uh, uh, the disappearance of the lord so the next verse goes like this text 19 na pibanti sthanam vats na duyanti cha matar rudanti ashru mukha gavo na rishyanti rishab braje transition by shila prabhupa jay shila prabhupa anybody calves, would like to read the calves do not suck the treats of the cows nor do the cows give milk they are standing crying tears in their eyes and the bulls are bulls take no pleasure in the pasturing grounds hari ki Yeah. Hare Krishna. Thank you, bro. So the cows, they were not sucking the teats of the cows, nor do the cows give milk. So this is also a, a very inauspicious situation which is mentioned here. Similar situation comes in Shrimad Bhagavatam tenth canto, when Lord Krishna used to play his flute. of course this is in auspicious sign but there was one auspicious sign that when lord sri krishna used to play his flute and he would enter into the forest varha pidam natavara vapu karna yo karni karam so in this way when the lord so in this way when the lord would enter the forest and would play his beautiful flute then what used to happen the trees used to give the fruits in ecstasy because the trees also know patram pushpam phalam toyam they would also give their fruits and jo tree ki jo lataye shakhaye thi ve bhi jhuk jati they would also bend in order to you know offer obeisances to the lord not only that the deer would try to go near to the lord and hear this wonderful flute sound apart from that the cows who used to drink the milk of the cows they in spite of having the teats of the cows in their mouths they couldn't suck the milk of the cow why because of such beautiful nectar which was in, in the form of the flute sound that used to enter in the ears and the cloud used to give milk or the, and the cows would not give milk and uh, uh, and the cows would not drink milk because of such transcendental sound vibration of the flute so this was the auspicious so this was the very auspicious uh, condition of the of the cows and calves and for the other trees and uh, uh, birds and the birds used to uh, you know uh, birds were also transcendentally awakened with the transcendental sound vibration of lord krishna's food but here we see as the lord disappeared the cows couldn't give milk and the cows were also uh, couldn't suck the milk of the cows and they were standing crying tears in their eyes and the bulls take no pleasure in pasturing grounds so as we see the bulls you know used to go to pasturing grounds to to get some grass and all but they were also not they were also not getting the pleasure for them the something was missing so this was the 
precarious condition of the of the people so all the living entities in the in that uh, city of hastinapur where lord uh, where yudhishthira mara used to see this all bad women next verse daivantani rudanti va svidyanti hi uchalanti cha ime janapad gramah puro jana karashrama prashta shriyo nirananda kim agham darshanti na translation by shila prabhupad jay shila prabhupad yes bro anybody would like to read हरे कृष्ण प्रभु जी शुभ आदि यस माता जी द डेटी सीम टू बी क्राइंग इन द टेंपल लेमेंटिंग एंड परस्पायरिंग दे सीम अबव टू दे सीम अबाउट टू लीव ऑल द सिटीज विलेजेस टाउन्स गार्डन्स माइंस एंड हर्मिटेजेस आर नाउ डिवॉइड ऑफ ब्यूटी एंड बिरेफ्ट ऑफ ऑल हैप्पीनेस I do not know what sort of calamities are now awaiting us. Hare Krishna. Thank you, Prabhuji. Thank you, Mother. Hare Krishna. So this was the precarious condition of the uh, of all the people and all of of all the living entities in the city of Hastinapur. And Yudhishthira Maharaj, one after one, he is seeing these bad women, the inauspicious signs that the deities seem to be crying in the temple, lamenting and perspiring. because the deities is always giving pleasure to the devotees but here the deities in the temple were uh, you know demonstrating this uh, uh, this situation and they seem to be live all the cities villages towns gardens mines and villages are now devoid of beauty and bereft of all happiness as we discussed when krishna appeared everything was so auspicious that you know the grass were growing green the flowers the hermitages the gardens were full of flowers fruits and all the beauty and was uh, at the at the top level because it was so beautiful all the peacocks were dancing but here we see that devoid of such beauty and they were there was no happiness at all i do not know what sort of calamity are now awaiting us so yudhishthira maharaj could see this being a pure devotee of the lord he could see the deities crying and about to leave and this was the precarious condition because he was he, he is seeing because yudhishthira maharaj is dharmaraj because in his religion sorry in his region where he was ruling the kingdom he was ruling with such a integrity and the scriptural injunctions that there was no question of at all to see such you know devastating things but but now the lord sri krishna has now disappeared from this world so that's why he is able to see all these inauspicious things in his kingdom next verse text 21 manye etar mahotpater nunam bhagavata pade ananya purusha shri bhir hina bhurhat saubhaga sansashan by shila prabhupa jay shila prabhupa i think that all these earthly disturbances indicate some greater loss to the good fortune of the world the world was fortunate to have marked with the footprints of the lotus feet of the lord these signs indicate that this will no longer be hari krishna thank you bro yeah so yudhishthir maharaj is further speaking to his brother bhimsen that some big loss has happened and so that's why the uh, indicate some greater loss to the good fortune of the world because when the lord comes the people gets attracted to the beauty of the lord to the pastimes of the lord to the names of the lord as the gopis of the vrindavan and the brajwasis of vrindavan were always uh, anxious to hear about the lord namani anantasya yesho ankitani cha shinvanti gayanti grinanti sadhav that the lord's namani anantasya ankitani cha shrinvanti gayanti grinanti sadava the sadhus or the devotees they always drink the nectar of the narrations of the past times of the lord 
and the gopis of vrindavan and the gopals of the vrindavan they used to ask their children oh today which leela krishna performed and in which forest you went what did he do and how you would have how you spent your time with krishna and in this way they would always hear from their you know uh, from their small children about the krishna's activities in the forest and when when krishna used to uh, be in the forest at that time they used to hear oh yesterday madhu mangal was telling this happened oh uh, this subal was telling that krishna killed bakasur so wonderfully in the forest so in this way they were always discussing hearing and when they were alone they used to thinking or meditating upon the lord and yashoda maya used to always you know look for the lord oh this now sun is at the top what would would ha- uh, happen to my kana now because the sun is giving so scorching heat oh oh surya dev please be careful please don't hurt my kana so in this way yashoda maya uh, would demonstrate such sweet pastimes uh, in remembering the lord so this were the beautiful passings of the vrindavan and everybody was you know thinking themselves as fortunate because they are always in the association of the lord but here we see that because now krishna left everybody was you know feeling such incompleteness some there was some scarcity although there was everything complete but still they would not relish it the world was fortunate to have marked with the footprints of the lotus feet of the lord yeah the reason is given here because they were all fortunate and they were all happy because in the earth uh, the beautiful footprints of the lord were there and now since the lord disappeared they so that's why this bhumi devi she is also now emerged into sorrows these signs indicate that this will be that this will no longer be so this also uh, the sign that since the lord disappeared we will not be able to see the lotus feet of the lord in the pasturing grounds or amongst ourselves so this was the situation that yudhishthir maharaj is now facing and discussing with uh, bhimsen and simultaneously he is also waiting to hear some evidence about the lord's disappearance so that's why he was that's why he already sent arjun to go to dwarka and bring some news about this but he was also waiting for uh, arjun next verse 22 इति चिंतयत दृशतारिस्ते न चेत राज्रह्मूर्य ब्राह्मण सुनका वैल महाराजा युधिष्ट अब्सर्विंग दि इन आस्पीशियस साइंस ऑन दि अर्थ एट दैट टाइम was thus thinking to himself arjuna came back from the city of the yadus dwaraka jay shri lapad thank you to hari krishna so as we discussed in the beginning that this conversation is going on between suta goswami and nemi sharanya rishis headed by saunaka rishi so he is also known as bhigu bhigu putra so that's why sometimes he is also known as he is uh, he has been addressed as brigu putra so this brahmana saunaka uh, saunaka rishi is hearing this past times of the lord and so the goswami is telling that as the yudhishthir maharaj and bhimsen were having this conversation and as they were observing this you know you know auspicious signs on the earth at that time arjuna came back from the city of dwarka yadus so see here kapi dwaja uh is addressed as arjun because when lord sri krishna was present he became the chariot driver of arjuna the sarthi and since hanuman ji is always engaged in the service of the lord so hanuman ji who is also known as uh, kapi the vanara he he was also uh accompanying the lord in his uh, in the battlefield of kurukshetra so hanuman ji took his place in the 
flag of the chariot of arjuna so that chariot is also known as kapi dwaj dwaj means flag and kapi means where lord uh, where the lord's pure devotee hanuman ji resides so this was also one sign of victory for arjuna in the battlefield of kurukshetra so that's why he has been addressed as kapi dwaj because for arjuna the for all the pandavas this in the in the chariot in their flag this uh, hanuman ji was residing so this was the you know uh, the beauty of the lord and his devotees so the the devotees always tried to serve the lord in some way or other so so in this way arjuna uh, for arjuna hanuman ji also entered the the flag and now such inauspicious signs as they are saying so meanwhile yudhishthir maharaj as he was conversing with bhimsen so similarly he was also thinking of when arjuna will come when arjuna will come and by thinking and discussing in this way the arjuna appeared on the scene now we will see what happened text 23 tam padayor nipatitam ayata purvam aturam ado vadanam abindun shrin shrijantam nayano abajayo sanshishan bashla gopa jashla gopa when he bowed at his feet the king saw that his deject dejection was unprecedented his head was down and tears glided from his lotus eyes so so as arjun arrived on the scene so as as we see generally how the younger ones do they once they come uh, they take the blessings of the senior seniors or adults or elders not adults elders so similarly arjuna also came and he bowed at his feet the king saw that his dejection was unprecedented that yudhishthir maharaj as he was seeing this inauspicious signs around he can also see that arjuna's was not so effulgent he also seemed little dull inactive that he was bereft of his tejas the vaibho or that effulgence he was having and his head was down and the tears glided from his eyes so so generally arjuna as a kshatriya he would not you know kabhi wo sar jhukate nahi the he would always have his head is head straight but now these times since he came from dwarka with such inauspicious news so he was hesitating to speak about it to yudhishthir maharaj and that's why remembering the lord the tears were continuously gliding from his eyes so this is the uh, this is also called the love in separation where the devotee because this is another level right now we are in sadhana bhakti but there is one level above the sadhana bhakti where bhav or the prem manifest so then the devotee for them shunya item jagat sarvam go in the virahanam so they were always hankering after after the service of the lord and if we don't get such service they always meditate upon the lord and they cry for the lord so this was the situation of arjuna that his head was down and tears were gliding from his lotus eyes next verse text 24 विलोकयाघ्न हृद विच्छा अनुजम नृप प्रचति स्म सूरी मध्य संस्मरण जयशल अर्जुन पेल ड्यू टू हार्ट फेल एंजाइटी द किंग रिमेम्बरिंग द इंडिकेशन ऑफ द सेज नारदा क्वेश्चन हिम इन द मीड्स ऑफ फ्रेंड्स so now as yudhishthir maharaj saw arjuna his head is down he is not speaking anything so yudhishthir maharaj inquired because arjuna uh, was as we discussed he was little inactive or he was bereft of his effulgence because of anxieties so the king remembering the indication of sage narada and before that when as we have Seen in the chapters of Dhritarashtra, quits home. 
uh, Narad Muni comes uh, when Yudhishthira Maharaj was speaking to Sanjay. Narad Muni comes and he indicates uh, that uh, you know this uh, Krishna would. Uh, he he told uh, Yudhishthira Maharaj. Narad Muni told Yudhishthira Maharaj in a very hidden form that the Krishna would soon disappear, or he already disappeared. So Yudhishthira Maharaj now. as he was remembering and he was seeing the arjun and the bad in auspicious signs around so he could relate to it what narad muni was saying and in this way he inquired from yudhishthira maharaj that what happened so further this yudhishthira maharaj will inquire so much things from uh, arjun at that what happened have you offended anybody or have you have not given any protection to the elderly people or the ladies or what happened Uh, uh have you been uh, uh have you been defeated by some other kings or some uh, some people or what happened exactly or uh, uh, have you uh, didn't uh, protected the children or in this way this yudhishthir maharaj will uh, will put so many questions in front of arjuna because arjuna was little nervous very much nervous and he was pale and simultaneously he was also remembering the lord and his relation with the lord because arjuna was a so dear friend of the lord that he spent most of his time with the lord uh one time this narad muni came to the lord and he, uh, he inquired to lord krishna that oh lord sri krishna we understand that you are in the hearts of your devotees and devotees are you in your hearts but what makes arjuna so special that you always accompany him accompany him sometimes you dine with him sometimes you sleep with him sometimes you uh, sit with him sometimes you go with him for hunting and so much activities uh, you perform together and uh, you all stay to together and sometimes while sleeping uh his uh his hands come on your mouth and in this way it happened so lord sri krishna told arjuna uh, told narad muni oh narad arjuna is very special devotee he is ananya chintayanto ma ye jana pari upasate tesham nitya vyukta na yogakshem mahamya so uh, we can understand from this beautiful verse the lord wanted to tell that arjuna is ananya chintayanto ma he is constantly remembering about me or thinking of me meditating upon me if you if you uh, don't understand or if you don't believe o oh, narada go to arjuna and take his any part or any limb of the body and just put your ear ear there and you will always see that he is always chanting or remembering me so when narad muni heard this he immediately went where arjuna was lying in the bed and as he took his hand his hand was you know uh, he could see that his hand was also chanting or remembering the lord similarly he took his other limb so similarly in this way he could hear so the, the narad muni understood that arjuna is very special devotee and to those devotees who constantly remember and think about the lord meditate about the lord and glory for the lord the lord always stay with him so the, the, so this is also very nice past time which comes in in mahabharata where where narad muni inquires about the speciality of arjun and that's why krishna made him as an instrument to give the beautiful message of bhagavad gita the song of god so as uh, we can uh, see that uh, when we are in pain sorrow misery we like to hear some songs to refresh ourselves to revive our uh, consciousness so similarly this bhagavad gita is also when we are sorrowful lamenting and uh, very much obsessed with something or in grief stricken so in such situation if we hear the bhagavad gita or if we read the bhagavad gita naturally all our doubts are solved with this beautiful solution of the gita and we become peaceful as well as blissful so uh, just to uh, give synopsis of the of the teachings of the bhagavad gita arjuna 
after some time we will see he will also remember since he is now grief stricken he is crying he is not very feeling good and for him also uh, it is very lamentable situation because krishna also disappeared and he came from dwarka so arjuna is also thinking arjuna will also think will start thinking in the coming verses about the lord's past times with him and the, the lord's association with him and the lord's beautiful message in the form of bhagavad gita to him and just by remembering that he would come out of the ocean of this nisains the ocean of sorrows and he would engage himself in the transcendental bliss just by remembering so this is also uh, navvida bhakti one limb of the navvida bhakti shravanam kirtanam vishnu smaranam so for shravanam this parikshit maharaj is the authority and kirtanam is shukdev goswami is the authority or mahajan or uh, for this and similarly for smaranam uh, for smaranam pralad maharaj is also sometimes because he was always remembering the lord so similarly arjuna is also this uh, following this uh, limb of the devotional service called smaranam the remembering of the lord and just by remembering of the lord he would come out of this ocean of sorrows as we discussed and we merge himself uh, into the ocean of transcendental bliss so this we will see in the coming verses but uh, just to give the synopsis um uh, of the teachings of the bhagavad gita i thought to share with you this and you must have also read or heard about this and i remember uh, in our last kirtan mela of dubai dubai damodar desh in december 2022 uh, sachinandan swami maharaj uh, his holiness sachinandan swami maharaj he came and uh, on the day of gita jayanti he was speaking about this beautiful past time that uh, that for arjuna he was also lamenting when this is in auspicious signs came but because he was he started remembering the lord and his associations with the lord in the form of uh, the past times which he performed while the lord was present he became happy and jubilant so similarly when we also remember or hear the past times of the lord we also become jubilant and not only that what to speak of the lord but when we speak of the devotees our gurus then also we see, uh, uh, we experience such kind of pleasures right uh, many of many of you have uh, can also relate when they have you know uh, when some senior devotees or gurus they came for some time uh, in their place and then they then they left that place so they were, they were also in the same state oh my gurus left now uh now uh this uh, i am not feeling good so in this way because jinko hum adhik prem karte hain unhi ke bare mein zyada hum shravan ya uh, smaran karte hain so this is very natural so because as a squeeze lemon lemon obviously the lemon juice will come as a squeeze apple definitely apple will come why because what in what comes out so similarly when we also will have the in our heart the lord then naturally at the time of death or at the time of difficulty our natural meditation will go upon the lord or the thing which we actually love so that's why this bhagavad gita and uh, shila radhana swami maharaj tells that shrimad bhagavatam teaches us two things how to live in this world and how to live from this world that kaise hame jeevan jeena chahiye और कैसे हमको इस जीवन से तरना चाहिए दैट हाउ वी कैन लिव फ्रॉम दिस वर्ल्ड जस्ट बाय रिमेंबरिंग एंड हियर दिस इज ऑल्सो वेरी नाइस चैप्टर विच विच यू नो प्रिपेयर कि अगर कभी कोई अगर आपके प्रियजन अगर आपको छोड़ के चले जाते हैं तो किस स्थिति का आप अनुभव करते हैं बट वेन यू अगेन एंगेज यूर सेल्फ इन द सर्विस ऑफ द लॉर्ड बाय रिमेंबरिंग और बाय चैंटिंग or by hearing then you will also be become happy peaceful and blissful krishna param purusha bhakti rutpadate pumsam shoka moha bhaya pa and just by hearing the lamentation and the fear and the illusion will certainly be disappeared as the krishna comes as the sun 
so as we discuss this particular verse that krishna swa dhamo pagate dharma gyana divi sa so as krishna left so naturally the the dharma or the transcendental knowledge the principles of dharma all accompanied the lord and lord went to his abode goloka vindavan krishna swa dhamo pagate dharma gyana divi sa so that's why the people of the age of the kaliyuga they lost their vision because there were everything there was everything darkness 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 kalau nashta drisham esher for the people of kaliyuga they lost their actual vision to see things as it is kalau nashta drisham esher purana arko aduna udit and at that time purana arko the bhagavat puran appeared as the jubilant sun with his un innumerable rays of transcendental teachings and just by hearing the teachings by chanting about the teachings of the lord and his pure devotees and implementing these teachings in our day to day lives we will also become happy peaceful and blissful so this is the message of these beautiful pastimes of shrimad bhagavatam of course as subal prabhu ji mentioned there is no purport more to it but whatever i heard from the authorities or from guru grants so i tried to uh assimilate and put forward uh for you so if i have made any mistakes please forgive me and if anything good you liked that all because all belongs to the senior gurus and all the assembled vaishnavas so thank you very much i i conclude here and if anybody any devotees or senior devotees as i can see many senior devotees are present here so if they can give some uh realizations or comments uh, for this topic so they are most welcome and if you have any questions you can put forward i will try to answer hare krishna hare krishna 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 hare 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 ram hare ram 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 hare hare granth rashi mein bhagavat mahapuran ki jaye shila prabhupad ji ki jo upasthit bhakt vrind ki jaye nitai gaur prabhu ne de hare hare thank you very much prabhu fantastic i mean quite um, i mean surprising Um, as well as uh, I mean, it was just amazing. The, some almost eight verses, and it had no purpose, but still you elaborated it so nicely and linked up so many various topics. Amazing! Thank you so much, Prabhu. Fantastic. Um, anybody has any question? Uh, all these verses, if I could understand, is more about uh, the reaction towards the message of Krishna going, right? Yeah, that was the. Yes, Prabhu ji, because all these verses were the observations of Maharaj Yudhishthir in his kingdom, whether uh, where he could see, you know, that this was these are the auspicious signs which he had never seen before and which he never think think before. because it is been mentioned that when maharaj yudhishthir was ruling kama mavarsha parjanya sarva kama dugamahi shishu smarojan gavan payo shoda shvatir moda in it is been mentioned that in the kingdom of maharaj yudhishthir the cow used to give so much milk that used it used to wet the grass or the ground similarly the earth used to give so much of food uh, grains fruits and everything that is required more than required it used to give but why because krishna was present there and now since krishna left everything it is happening as usual but but still there is some uh, some lacking there is no such pleasure which they are de- deriving and in between that they are seeing this inauspicious signs uh, prabhu ji one thing maybe i i missed in class what was the exact reason why krishna decided to leave at this time uh, did all his duties complete well, that was the reason or what was yes to you very nice question thank you yeah so krishna uh, as we uh, heard from the you know uh, the janma leela of krishna that uh, this bhumi devi was Uh, feeling this pain of the kshatriyas who are you know uh, raising their armies and they were fighting amongst each other for land kingdom and all so that's why the bhumi devi was very 
distressed so she approached brahma ji and then brahma ji approached the lord and the lord told that i will come and i will release the uh, earth from this all unwanted kshatriyas so that's why, so for this purpose paritranayam sadhana vinashaya ja dushkrita dharma samsthapanartha sambhavam yoga and the lord came to establish the dharma so this whole episode of mahabharata was done to establish the dharma and the lord gave the bhagavad gita after bhagavad gita uh, after the lord gave bhagavad gita he enthroned maharaj yudhishthir on the kingdom and for that the lord came and after this the lord thought now since yudhishthir maharaj is ruling nicely now let me disappear because then after this the kalyuga will start so in kalyuga again the lord will take his yuga avatar so big because as you mentioned rightly this was also one of the significance that his duties were finished and he enthroned the right person on the kingdom which is yudhishthir maharaj and in this way yudhishthir maharaj enthroned parikshit maharaj later parikshit maharaj enthroned his uh, his son janma jay so in this way since the uh, raja rishis ruling was there so krishna thought now let me disappear and give their uh, give them the responsibilities to rule and to educate the people in general about the uh, about the dharmas and the vedic principles which is very required to rule the kingdom so that's why uh, he left and krishna comes in one day of lord brahma's cycle so uh, and he thought that in future in future shrimad bhagavatam would also manifest so so that's why the lord disappeared because after the lord disappeared uh, disappeared what happened the pandus also they were also retired after the lord's disappearance and they enthroned parikshit maharaj and then parikshit maharaj uh, took the kingdom forward and then uh, by lord's grace this uh, uh, he offends this samikrishi and then samikrishi son uh, gives him curse that he will die in seven days and then the manifestation of shrimad bhagavatam happens so it is the lord's leela prabhu ji hari krishna if any seniors want to add you can subal prabhu ji uddhav prasht prabhu ji uh, krishna swarup prabhu ji hari krishna sir sure. uh, bro just one or two more things uh, uday prabhu so what happens is uh, in, in in most of the cases if not a uh, kind of a rule as such but when uh, the uh, when pure devotee is Uh, see some kind of distressing situation for the spiritual growth of the people then uh, in some way or the other they kind of you know petition the lord they request the lord to come down and perform certain tasks which otherwise would not be possible so before ram came you know uh, there was uh, indra and various other demigods had reached out brahma had reached out to uh, lord vishnu to krishna to descend down when krishna came also the same thing happened before he came in everything is written in garga samhita narsimha dev also the same thing happened now uh, when the avatar is supposed to be finished okay krishna basically ensures that the people for whom he descended they are satisfied with whatever activities have been performed and there is nothing more that they want the lord to achieve for them meaning for the on their behalf so uh, that communication loop if you say right you know just you called me to perform certain activities i will not go directly without consulting you without taking your permission so when a atithi when a guest comes to our home also uh, he comes uh, based on our invitation or he comes by himself but when he leaves he takes a permission from the host and then he leaves similarly krishna you know um, uh, basically ensures that he has performed the task to the satisfaction of the people who invited him and when they agree they give him permission and then he leaves so in this uh, avatar also brahma and all had approached him and they had told him that lord you have performed all the activities which you we wanted you to do we are very thankful you you your, your avatar can be finished now and the same thing was done for ram also so this was one of the reasons second reason was had krishna remained here 
Kali would never have been able to set up his foothold here. So Kali was just waiting for Krishna to disappear before he actually descended and meaning before he started, you know, uh, uh, creating his empire. So that was also necessary for Kali to start. It was time for him to disappear. Plus all the activities, all the functions, everything was completed. And then it was the right time to disappear. Thank so, you. Thank you. Anybody has any question? Uh, we have sufficient time today. Generally, we are late, but uh, we have time. Coincidentally, these uh, verses today didn't have much purport, so we could gather some time there from them. Any question? So, so Sachin, one small follow-up. Like, so he came with the request of Brahmaji. And basically, basically with the uh, permission of them only, he will leave, right? So uh, Yudhishthir is just uh, what he uh, instilled in the kingdom for peace. Uh, no, I'm sorry, uh, Uday Prabhu, can you repeat your question? I was not able to hear clearly. Uh, so basically, uh, uh, Krishna descended based on the request from Brahmaji is what I understood. Correct. Right? Correct. And the other, other uh, lords. Yes. Correct. And then, uh, basically, with the help of, uh, with the permission of them, he will go away. Correct. So, Yudhishthir and Arjun and Pandavas are just the uh, uh, represent, or he he instills them for maintaining the peace. Yes, correct. So, so if we look at it, um, we know um, there are three external reasons for the Lord's appearance which he has mentioned in uh, 4.8 Bhagavad Gita, Paritranaya Sadhunam Vinashaya Cha Dushkrutam and Dharma Samstha Panarthaya. So Paritranaya Sadhunam was achieved by Kurukshetra War. Uh, Vinashaya Cha Dushkrutam was also done and even before also so many Dushkrit people, Krishna himself had killed or Krishna got them killed. Yeah. Now Dharma Samstha Panarthaya. So, when you have to establish religious principles, there are multiple mechanisms to do. One is give knowledge to people. But not everybody will be able to understand, grasp the knowledge and implement in their life. Some people need to be taught how to do it. So, Krishna acts in, in the form of, you know, the uh, pure devotees. He, he teaches that as well. But there are some people who despite that will still not follow. For them, there has to be some government kind of stuff who will implement these rules and ensure that they are adhered to. For which Chakravarti um, Yudhishthir Maharaj was necessary, a very pious and a dharmic king who will never deviate from religious principles and he will ensure religious principles are implemented properly. It was necessary. So from all three perspectives, he has ensured that people who understand by speaking, people who understand by seeing, and people who understand the uh, by rule, all kind of people will be able to follow religious principles. So it was necessary for Yudhishthir Maharaj to be enthroned so that he can ensure that proper government is there. And all these three activities were completed and uh, he was confident that Yudhishthir will take it forward. So that was the kind of, you know, uh, uh, factor based on which this decision he must have been, he must have taken. Thank you. Thank you. Prabhuji. Sumati Mataji, you had unmuted yourself. You want to speak something? Okay, looks like uh, there's no question. Any question? Anybody? Sorry, Hare Krishna Prabhuji, can you hear me? Kesho Bharti Prabhu, Hare Krishna. Hare Krishna. Yes, Mother, Hare Krishna. Yeah. Uh, Krishna appears in once in Brahma's lifetime. Is that uh, I have heard correct? Uh, Mataji, Krishna appears in one day of Lord Brahma's day. In one day of not so what are what are the manvantras in one month one one manvantra he appears lord appears 
यस माता जी देर आर फोर युगास सतयुग द्वापर युग त्रेता युग एंड कलयुग सो दिस फोर युगास इज वन इज नोन एज वन चतुर युगा सो वेन दिस थाउजेंड चतुर युगा यू नो गोज दिस साइकल गोज दैट इज द वन डे ऑफ ब्रह्मा सो इन दैट वन डे ऑफ ब्रह्मा द लॉर्ड अपियर्ड सो दिस फाइव थाउजेंड इयर्स बैक दिस कृष्ण अपियर्ड सो सो दिस इज द Uh, scriptures evidence which is there which our acharyas also speak about frequently so the, this is the uh, glory of uh, krishna that he appears in uh, one day so this is also uh, very nice thing which we can hear and understand that uh, the red sai krishna whom you know everybody seeks in in 10th canto also uh, we have seen that you know uh, lord vishnu also aspires to take darshan of the lord so that lord appears for us so that uh, we can get attracted by his past times and we can also uh, take up this human form of light uh, as an vehicle to to go back home back to god it so prabhu ji my question is that now ki in other man mantras or other days what is the is lord not there or he doesn't appear in those days uh, mata ji lord appears in every yuga as it is worded from bhagavad gita yeah. sambhavami yuge yuge but the lord comes in his uh, various different incarnations ramadi murtishu kala niyamena tishtan nana avataram akoreto bhuvaneshu kintu krishna swayam samabhavat parama pumanyo govinda madi purusham tamam bajami lord brahma says in the in the brahma samhita that ram narsimha vara hayagriva vamana so in these different incarnations the lord comes sasamar yuga avatars समार शक्त्यावेश अवतार्स समार लीला अवतार्स समार गुणा अवतार्स सो इन दिस डिफरेंट अवतार्स द लॉर्ड कम्स एंड गोज एज ही एस्टैब्लिश द प्रिंसिपल्स परित्राणायाम साधुना विनाशाच्या दुष्कृता धर्म संस्थापन अर्थ आहे बट कृष्णा इज स्वयं भगवान सो ही कम्स ओनली इन वन डे ऑफ लॉर्ड ब्रह्मा सायकल बट वेन लॉर्ड कृष्ण द डझन कम्स द अदर हिज इनकार्नेशन कम्स बट द लॉर्ड श्री कृष्णा इज अवतारी he is the source of all the incarnations mantra yeah yeah prabhu ji you are talking about the yugas i am talking about the manvantras like uh, i have heard in 71th we are in 71th manvantra right now yeah mata ji this is the uh, vaivaswatas manus uh, manvantra so so krishna is appearing in this manvantra what about the other manvantras is he appearing in every manvantra or, or... or he is skipping some man mantras and then appearing in other man mantras mata ji sometimes uh, yagya or uh, other his incarnations they are this uh, uh, taking like hari in this way there are uh, this in gogolok chart if you will see uh, so there are many such uh, incarnations when the, where the lord takes hari high grave so in this way there are a lot of this uh, incarnation when lord personally comes in this particular manvantara yeah thank you prabhu ji yeah but still mata ji for uh, for more clarity uh, once uh, this next radha pad pankaj prabhu's class is there then we can also raise this question so that he will explain us about the how are the different manvantaras and how frequently the lord appears yeah thank you prabhu ji Hey Krishna, thank you very much. Thank you so much for joining, Prabhu ji. Thank you very much for the wonderful class. Excellent. Hare Krishna, Prabhu. Hare Krishna. Thank you, Krishna. Very very nice class. Hare Krishna. Hare Krishna. Thank you, thank you, Prabhu ji. Thank you. The village is so much, Prabhu. Prabhu, thank you so much. Thank you very much, Prabhu.